If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before listening on. What we can do is draw a picture that represents the information being described. So here we have a 12 microcoulomb charge that originally is situated at the origin, and then it's going to be moved to a position located at 20 comma 50 centimeters. And our task is to find the change in electrical potential energy as the charge is moved from the origin to this location. Now we know that the change in electrical potential energy is equal to negative the charge multiplied by the electric field component in the x direction multiplied by the displacement in the x direction. Notice that the displacement is exclusively in the x direction as is the component of the electric field. So even though the charge is moving in both the x and the y direction, we only concern ourselves with the displacement in the x direction, which is 20 centimeters. And so it's almost as if the 50 centimeters is irrelevant to our story. So we can simply plug in the amount of charge and the electric field in the x direction, as well as the displacement in the x direction. Notice that we converted the charge from microcoulombs into coulombs by multiplying by 10 to the minus 6. We also converted the displacement in the x direction from centimeters into meters. So when we multiply this all out, we get approximately negative 6 times 10 to the minus 4 joules for the change in electrical potential energy of the charge field system. Now for part B, we know that the change in electrical potential is simply the change in electrical potential energy divided by the charge. So we can take the value for the change in electrical potential energy we just figured out and divide it by the charge. Again, notice we're converting the charge from microcoulombs into coulombs. And when we compute this, we get negative 50 volts. And that is indeed the correct answer to part B. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe so that you can stay tuned for additional videos. You can also send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.